where am I? Who am I? Questions. Things. Wow, look at that light going right in there. Why is that not all the time? Where are you going? Who is this? I got some things. Oh, you hear this? Clumpy clump clump. I'm still doing the cold opening for some reason. I think I told myself I'm going to stop. Oh, 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 <laughs> what? I told myself I was going to stop, but I never did. Oh, somebody there is there. Who is it? Hey, hello. Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here on TV. Once again, once again, we're trying to machine from live forever. I'm alive. Made it all the way back around here to Wednesday. Who would have thought I would have made it this long? <laughs> I got some. Um, I'm the. Well, let me say, I'm, I'm ashamed of this, but. Don't depend on it fresh. Because. Um, I was actually. You know, I try not to think about things before I get here, but sometimes I do. But, um, I'm like, uh, <coughs> um, that, that Nine Inch Nail song, that Donny Cat song, you know? It's called Hurt. It says, yeah, I hurt myself today to see if I can still feel. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm hurting myself for a little bit of the job. I've been trying to express this for, you know, for a for six hours of walk. Let me see. Let me see if I still feel after this meal. No, I no longer feel. I think, well, most of the people are going there or they don't feel. Once you no longer question yourself, then you have a problem. So it's good to test. It's good to have a test. And that's what I'm doing now. Testing myself to see how I, how I am and what I'm going to do. Um, let's see how it goes. Who's right and who's wrong, man? Right? If you think you're right, then you're probably wrong. But if you don't think you're right, then what are you doing? So, kind of refer to your own life, you know? If I think I'm right. But if I think I'm right, I'm wrong. How are we going to do it? Yesterday I was here. Huh. It's juicy. Yeah. Well, I'm not eating any kind of food. Scoop it up too. That's how you want your food. In scoops? Ridiculous scoops? Like, what am I going here for? Like, quantity? I don't want, I'm not really excited about quantity of my food. That's why I like quality to give you a decent amount of food, not with this place is kind of crazy. Um, I should just run a far east. I was thinking about going to far east. I was like, oh, I'm going to far east. I've been far east so long and I haven't had Chandler Express probably since 2000, I would say, 19, maybe even 18. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go there. So I'm there now, isn't it? Often. I mean, too often. Never too often. I mean, ever is too often. I mean, it doesn't taste good, though, but it hurts you. I mean, it's in your face until you die. And there's so many other food. But, you know, you know what I'm saying? I get there. You get there. And that's, you know, on, uh, uh, <laughs> Tuesday, you know how the day works? I was here 
and uh, let's see looking at some muscle growth talking to Freddy never did fix that thing if you're looking over there if you're watching live on YouTube and you're getting the weird view side view of uh, the machine stopped working so now we're not taping live probably soon we'll get back to it but for now well, I'm going to fix it. I'm doing the side view lab. I remember when you told me something, you know, I walked up and said, but you know, I'm going to look like this right here. Uh-oh. That did yesterday. I don't know which batteries are good. Is this one good? Well, then, um, I got a little bit of a problem. I don't know which battery you were, uh, charging that. The one that's charging now is the one that's charged because they're green. So what was that doing? Trying to get the machine working, talking to Freddy a little bit, talking to Bill a little bit, fixing with some mischief. Mr. Vincent's not doing well. Kind of like he was weeping. Is he weeping? Might have been slightly weeping like the, um, the Beatles, you know? Mr. Vincent was like the Beatles yesterday. Slightly? Slightly? Crying? Um, slowly dying? I don't like uh, adverbs, you know, it's just, just my, with how weak, heavily, how heavily is there, so, but the adverbs are the, um, the, the layman tool, if you need adverbs, you can do it, so, well, my guitar is weak, how does it weak? It's made out of context, and there's no context in the title, but, uh, you see, well, my, well, my guitar is weak, and then you uh, get the, like, the, the whole thing's the adverb, or, uh, right for or something. Uh, no, for writers, so don't use them. So there's no spelling word. I think when I say spelling word, they're advocating for them this time. Use them spelling word. Let's see. Let's go over that word. That's like the full context of the sentence is only the adverb there. You know? You know what I'm saying? Um, did you take the time to talk to Freddy, listen to some of his time, went out to, uh, went out to, uh, went out to pizza, look at the book. Yeah, went out to pizza, I got quite a few numbers, and I'm just, oh, and then I go to the bar. I seen you yesterday, so we had to let the end give a little talk. Um, I went to, uh, the whole thing here, whatever, I don't remember it all. After the program, I went over to, uh, uh, my, my residence to go in my head, and I didn't clean, I didn't move the whole thing. I should be cleaning the kitchen or moving the kitchen around, but I'm just like doing nothing. Oh, um, well, I worked all day, and I did this thing, and I was like, oh, man, so now it's sitting anywhere. Maybe today, I'll move a few things in the kitchen, at least, at least two things, and I can tell myself, I'm going to appreciate myself. What else can you do? Like, you know, you can go on and do things, but here's, uh, here's going to be... I'm going to myself, so there's no kind of deadline, but it would be nice. Wouldn't it would be nice if I did stuff for myself? <laughs> like, I do want to take care of myself, but then it takes effort, so. Like, you for me, 
could be happy. Yet I did the little of work. So right now I'm not only not only because I'm doing things and doing this work for me. Something. So this is good. This is not me all the way. Do the other way, okay? So keep your name on me. I'm uh way back home sitting there watching TV and sleeping. Wondering what's up. Ooh. Cut my hair. See? Wow. It's been a while. I was cutting my hair often, you know, like this. Every time I had. I was cutting my hair like all the time. But now it's been a minute. You know, it's warm. I cut my own hair. You know, so I cut my own hair, but I don't think it's with the bubble. I don't see that. I don't know. Bad, but I don't know. You know, the shave and the bad things. You can get together with the shave anyway. I don't have the charger there. I don't know where the charger for my bubble is. So, you gotta find it. I don't know what happened in the news, but I didn't stick things together where they should be. What am I gonna do? I go through all my belongings? I kinda wanna go through all my belongings. And then say, right now I'm just putting them back on the shelf or hiding them out. Hiding my belongings and so what do I use? Every day and day to day and stuff like that. What can I have? And what, what can I use? What can I have? I don't use that much stuff, and I have a lot of stuff. But I use very little of it. What am I going to do? Get rid of it? Utilize it? Organize it? Like, what am I ever going to use any of that stuff? I don't know, but I moved it off to one house or another. I don't know if using it, right? It's a lot of things. Lots of things over there. But uh, I did that, and then I went to sleep, you know, I was going to sleep here, but I got it, came back up. I went out to work, I didn't eat at McDonald's this morning. Yeah, instead of eating at McDonald's, I was eating nothing. I ate nothing all day, so I was thinking about what I wanted to eat, and I was like, you know, I'll go hurt myself up in this stuff today. It's been... I said, uh, I said, I said, don't go to Panda Express. Never go to Panda Express because it's, um, <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, you never go to Pond Water. Period. That includes Panda Express and Pond Water. It's a disturbing place. Pond Water is a disturbing place for the weirdos and, um, like, actual train haircuts, you know? Like, like on TV, you see on TV. You know, who's getting that haircut? Some people say. It's kind of weird that Tom Water is right there, and I mean, it's not like you're watching in Tom Water, but very few people are, and there are issues like, no, we only got one car, or some of the world's cars in general. The only one from Tom Water, and it's a weird place, it's really kind of scary. It's like, whoa, what is this place? Who is here in Tom Water? I wish I was there. It's kind of disturbing. It's just the general vibe of the place. I was already made a mistake. Maybe it's just Panda Express in general, but the lady in front of me was very <coughs> like like had a like just uh, you know mad there like disgusted. They looked disgusted the whole time. I, I, I want the I want the the, the, the steak the steak in the uh, the, the uh, hey I said the steak okay. Like waiting for somebody to like ruin their, de their life and so they could have a problem. And I think they're on the defense all the time, looking around, trying to look out what's gonna, like somebody's gonna wrong. Hey, are you wronging me? I'm not like they're on the edge of being wronged all the time. 
and it's a dark way to live. Like, you know, you're on the, the defense. You think everybody's out to get you or something. You want what I have? You don't know what I have. You want it, don't you? You can't have what I have. I have it. This is my stuff. You can't have my stuff. I'm, I'm going to buy stick with Pena Express. I went there myself, though. I'm talking shit about people eating Pena Express while I'm eating it, but maybe they go there often. It's the whole zone. Oh, it's such a weird place. You ever been to some water? Yours? I bet you have. Well, I don't know who's watching this. Do you even know where Tom Water is? Are you watching this from far away? When? In the future? Is Tom Water even there anymore? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Focus on the pain. The only thing is real. Huh? Um, I don't know what call the title, titles of episodes and stuff. Let's see what happens. I hate me too much. I'm trying to fucking kill me. She kicked me in the face. Or in the guts. For money. You want some... Little kick in the gut? For like ten dollars, I've been kicked in the guts. I don't know which one is more food. This isn't well. I think there's no dairy. There's lots of sugar. So I'm gonna say you can eat like sugar. Oh, one. Tough one, boom. Oh, from my bro. Go to the house phone. I'm calling the cell phone. Hello. What? Hello. What? It's a program on TV. How are you? Uh, what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? I'm I'm eating Panda Express because. Why? Why? Huh? Why? Because I wanted to see if I still feel. Yeah, what happened? I don't know yet, but you know, you know what I'm talking about? No. I, uh, it's like that song, that Nine Inch Nail song, Hurt. You know? You know? Yeah. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Hey, it's a little, kind of a little joke there. Did you feel? I I think that I'm not gonna feel great, so I, I guess I do feel. I've been saying that people, it's either like lots of people they don't they don't feel anymore, and then they eat there. It's kind of a scary place. In Tumwater, don't go to Tumwater. Ever been to Tumwater? Uh, yeah. It's a weird dark place. Oh, yeah. It's a dark hero world. There was I saw someone with an actual Karen haircut. They had a, you know you know the Karen from TV? Yeah. I saw somebody with that haircut and then somebody else they were looking like they were disgusted the whole time they're ordering their food. What show? Yeah. What show? The, uh, I don't know what show. What are you watching? Uh, new rock stars. Did you see the new Quantumania trailer? I didn't see it. It looks crazy. I'm not going to watch any more trailers until I see the movie. When does it come out? What? When is it out? Next year. Next year? 
another comic back show as in uh, I guess this year. This year. Yeah, this year, right? Later this year. In like a couple of months. 23 now, yeah. A couple of months, months right? I guess. Yeah. Pretty soon now. Yeah, it's a new year. Yeah. Did you forget? Yeah, uh, yeah. You want to get a new washing, like, a uh, clothing washing machine? Yeah, we can save like two hundred dollars on us. The, the washing machine costs two hundred dollars. No, it's like it's like six hundred, but we can save money on it. What do you mean? We can get twenty percent off total. But what about the what about the washer that's there? You think it's messed up? No, it's just old, and you can see it, like, the barrel looks rusty. Too old, huh? It looks old to me. But it works, right? We don't have to buy it, but I think it's a good deal. Might as well, and this thing looks old. New house, might as well buy it. New washing machine. Well, what are we going to do with the old one? I don't know, whatever you do with it. Throw it in the yard? Sure, so maybe, maybe we can get it delivered and tell Lowe's to take it or something. We could throw it in the ditch. Yeah. Do you throw it in the ditch? We can do whatever you want with it. Anything? Sure. Let's go the Okay. You want some numbers? Five. Fifty. Twenty-five. Fifteen. I really feel like Panda Express is kicking you in the gut. You then get the shot of Kane's pyramid structure that we saw from earlier. It's poisoning you? It's weird there. It's weird there. Which is more common Kane's grab. I told myself that I'm not going to eat tum water, but then I did. I was going to tum water? I went to tum water. Well, I went there anyway, but I was supposed to just drive right out of tum water. After I leave, I'm supposed to drive away, but then sometimes I get lured in. I'm like, oh, I'm already out here, I'm going to go. And then every time I say, never go there! I tell myself. Go to Costco. Yeah. I could get a hot dog. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I should just eat a hot dog only instead of nasty Panda Express making me feel weird. I think it's giving me the brain, the weird brain already. Yeah, I want to go to Costco. Oh, yeah? Why? I want to get a new mattress. They have my mattress Costco? Supper. Mattress topper. Just a topper? Yeah. What about the regular part of it? Uh, you know that weird feeling in your head that you get from Panda Express? Um, no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say no. No. Because it's racist. It's racist. Panda Express is white people food. Yeah. No, but you get people say that the the headache comes from MSG. It's fucking dumb. No, that's not true. No, it's from Panda Express. It's something weird in Panda Express. Yeah, right. It's not MSG. It's something else. I don't know what it is. And the people people are like, I, I get a headache after I eat Chinese food. It must be the MSG because they're fucking Chinese people. Chinese yeah, food MSG. Is MSG. Is MSG. That's what the people say. It's better than salt. Better than salt. Salt is bad. That, <laughs> I don't know, like, I have to really listen to people, like, but somebody, I know this guy is smoking cigarettes, and then he's like, I'm cooking, we're eating red meat. He's eating, he's quitting red meat by smoking? He smokes cigarettes, so it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. 
If you smoke cigarettes, you can do anything. Yeah. Total freedom. Anything, anything you do is worse than that. Is is better than that. Mm -hmm. You want to put away the kitchen? I'm gonna put away one thing. If we start putting away one thing, then it'll get done. You know. Yeah. So you should go walk to the kitchen. Put away one thing. Put away, yep. Huh? That's right. Yep. Yeah, put away one thing. Put away one thing, I agree. So put away one thing. Mm, yep. Alright. Okay, bye. Bye. And then stop. the classic clean stick. Oh, I'm fat. <laughs> This may have to be the last, last message for the day. Um, I'm staying in the closet right now. Um, did you ever see that R. Kelly thing, like, trapped in the closet? I did. I guess Weird Al has a version of it, trapped in the drive-thru. Yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't watch all the parts, but I was watching a lot of it with, uh, you know what, I need to write, oh, I did write it down. Oh my god. That's the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. Also, it's kind of maddening as well. Um. Holy shit. Because it's the same repeating stupid melody with a stupid story. But it's a lot like The Room, I guess. Um. I'm telling you what's so. That's good though. That's far as it being so uh, terrible. No, no. Some of it's great. Um, but I remember watching the chap in the drive-thru when I was younger and never getting it, never understanding why it was funny. Um, now I get it, I guess. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, thinking about my friend, he died. I had two friends who died in the same year, within months of each other. How'd they die? In traumatic ways. Um, kind of set me off. I think that was 20, 2015, yep. And... How'd they die? Kind of messed me up for a little while. That and other things. But, um, but the funny thing about my one friend who died, it was Daniel J. Bear. He was in this band called Symbol Z Guitars. He was like, he played like, keys on their first album. And they just, I met him on Facebook, in like a weird community on Facebook. Just weirdo people. <laughs> just posting random shit and being like just like artsy people and the like, weird people and the writers and stuff. It was like a decade ago now. And he would at one point he was just like posting his poop <laughs> every day. He would do stuff like that. I'm not the best example <laughs> example of the kind of guy he was, but he fell in love with me and he thought it was a girl and drove to meet me. I'll explain that later. But then we became, <laughs> became friends after that. <laughs> Huh? That's a weird thing. Oh, cause you're just pretending to be other people all the time? But he died? Well, now that I think about it, they need to have an emergency session in Congress in Olympia, the capital where I'm from, and a uh, motherfucking... Sorry about that, didn't mean to cuss in the middle of that whenever I'm trying to get... They need to have this little special fucking What's the thing? Sorry, dang it. They just need to go in there and make a bill for the people who own property, who are about to lose their property, or about to go bankrupt, and or whatnot. 
because of non-payment of rent. We was living back in the well, well, I'm living paycheck to paycheck and borrowing a little bit of money from my mom here and there because my paycheck still don't even make it. Okay? I can't believe the forks is broke. I drink too much Red Bull. Oops. But now I'm not drinking Red Bull. I'm real bummed out. My body's like hating it. But what the fuck? I'm getting it done. I'm about quit. One every other day, maybe. And I'm about ready to use it. Yeah, Having some Red Bull withdrawals, Mr. Gentleman? Yeah. Probably be spitting this food up. It ain't worth it. It's just not worth it. Not to me, because I don't make stuff, tons of money. Yeah, watch where my money goes. And like I said, my car's broken down. And I've been trying to buy stuff that's broke down a while now, bro. I fixed it and all up to the point of my back is still not the best. So if I go fucking yak that transmission into that car by myself, which is the only way it's going to happen, I F myself up. So I have to, I send them some money. Eventually, uh, my car will have a transmission in it. Uh, I can't do it. Sorry. It's more than I think I should handle it because of I think it's more than I should handle it because I don't want to be laying on my back because I think it's my game but it's not back in. You go live in the ditch again, huh? And then that's a big ass. Uh, Ted, Judy. Why? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> bye, future. <laughs> bye. John Wilson does not like Judge Judy. I don't know why. Hey, future, it's us, the past. We've been talking about flapjacks and lasagna and leotards today. And that's what everyone's going to be talking about in the future. It's uh, Mark. Let's see. It's uh, Friday the 11th. Oh, yeah. Okay. 19 one, 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 one. Bye, future. Bye. One, 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 one. Hey, look at that. One, 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 one. You were right, past. How'd you know? How'd you know about the dates? Um, uh, well, call Freddy Producer. Well, there's an emergency though. We'll wait till there's after this emergency. Well, emergency! Kind of slowing down. We got some production issues. He's working. Or he had his, uh, or he had, uh, his job actually drove by. Hi. Hi. You've reached Freddie Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Hey! There's a program. How are you? Are you at work? Are you at the party? I drove by. The party is literally where you work. Um, the, uh, how is the pizza? How's the production going? The clam shell. Might be Boston. You think it's busted for good? Mr. Ginsu is going to become homeless to be 
um, housing. I never tell you about the time I pulled the transmission trans panty and transfer case out of my Jeep CGA5. I pulled it out onto my chest. And then I fixed it. Clutch. Get the clutch. Flying lighters in there. Click the plate. No, okay. Yep, did that just. Uh, put the flying liner in there, tighten everything up, pull the flying liner. Put that pen, make it back up on my. Uh, Mr. Gibson, you said he might be my knees under it. Get it up in there, it goes. And grab um, one of the top bolts, put the top, top of the freaking bolt in, screwed it in there far enough to hold it in, cell housing. We're going to move. And we freaking grab another bolt from the other side of the top, put it in, and you know we're going to go over it through, so. And then I can let go of the transmission altogether and just start putting bolts. Uh, Phil, I feel like I'm putting the transmission transfer case on your chest and humping that sucker up in there without a train jack. Humping? And I'm just telling you, I did that. Okay? <laughs> You're bad at I did that. More than what, once. Were you some kind of bad act? Because the truck went out of my Jeep. And uh, more than once. I was hard on, I was hard on my equipment. Make that shit, that shit work, though. So, but, I know how to fix it, so I didn't care. And I'm not sure that Your recording has reached the maximum length. To replay your message, press 1. To delete and re-record your message... And most of the time I do record it. I never need that shit, but... Get drunk once or twice, and that's the way it goes. Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. Um, I never really wrecked in the Navy. I can never per se call for recall. Just hard on equipment, having fun, Just having fun the whole time. It's us, the past. Do you still feel? Don't go to Tumwater. You hurt yourself by eating Panda Express. You, you can find the charger for your clippers. Did you live? Did Tumwater take over by future? Tumwater taking over everything. I don't know. It's like, what is. It's just like. Scary white people in some water, you know? They're everywhere, I guess, but I mean, they, they're there. It's like extra tum water vibe. Like weirdness. I mean, maybe it's Panda Express itself. It's probably a combination. It's like maybe tum water, like tum water is kind of scary, but Panda, the tum water Panda Express is the epicenter of the scariness. It's possible. Possible. Probable. Probable. It's probable. Um, we're gonna look at this and look at the last two weeks. See what we've been doing. Today's the uh, the 11th, so we're gonna go back into 22 uh, for a little bit. Like uh, how far into 22 though? Oh, it was the Sunday. We're gonna go back to the Wednesday, I think. Sunday. Oh yeah, let's see there's New Year's Day. We'll see it on New Year's Eve. Then what's before? I don't know. Uh that Friday, uh we had the Crimson County Awards on Friday, some of us on Thursday, and then Wednesday is the one we're gonna look at. Do you 
to get blown over. Is it the wind? Is it the car we went through? Um, whirlpools, by future. Hey, future. It's us the past. It's Wednesday. I'm with Far East. We're in weird limbo. In many ways. How are you? Where'd you go? You alive? How's your health? Did you see that kid? You ever find that kid? Is it <laughs> now I'm by future. future sets the path. It's Thursday and the uh, phone's not working. Got pizza. Tomorrow's coming to the county awards. Did you make it? Did you... Is that cut? Is that cut in your chair? It's going to work. Hey, hello, future. Get to hey, the past. There we go. Hey. Yeah. Do you have a Do you have a future? It's uh, Happy New Year Day. What's it with the lyrics to Old Lang Syne? Do you know the lyrics to Old Lang Syne yet? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh! Just the past. Hey, future, happy new year. What year is it now? Is it 23, 4, 5, 6, 27? 28, wait, 3, 4, 5, 6, I think it's 2027 if you're still doing the thing. Uh, 2022 is 2027. Is it 2027? What, yeah, what happened in 2027? Yeah. Uh, Donald Trump Jr.? Ready? Ready, so how the future? Oh, hi, future. Seems like it's probably going very good there, future. Phone's ringing. Freddy's on the phone now. It's getting down to it. And uh, it's Monday. Okay, bye, future. Bye, future. Of the day, how's your health? Um, we spent a lot of time queuing for this. Queuing. So, how's the tapes? The Q1 episode. Did, is Bird driving the bus? Can we talk to Bird? Be good. Be good, future. Do we have a bad. the complete um, messages to the future from 2016 to now? Let's find out. Bye, future. Hey, future, it's just the past. Hey, future, how do you feel now that your body is made out of only bees and rice? Instead of garbage, it's uh, Wednesday. Probably better. It's uh, another day. Went to old school and got a pizza. I'm eating pizza, not beans and rice only. Bye, future. It's also the past. What do you have to say to the future, bird? Standard, uh, you know, just. Hope. Be good, future. Hope, hope for the future. And if you're feeling like media, like bitter, like just fine, that is peak health, and you should appreciate it because some people are sick and fucked. Bye, future. Future. So it's the past. Did you ever help anybody? Look at that. Uh, what's going on with the um, weird alley zone? See the alley zone? It's like. The light only in the space that it is. Uh, you lived, did you eat more pizza? Did you figure out if it was February? Um, it's January now, January 6th, just like it says. Bye, future. Uh, hey, future, it's like the past. Oh, yeah, uh, got four lemon picks. Future, keep going. What happens in the future? What do you have to say in the future? Four years from now. What do you want to say? Oh, in four years? Yeah. I'll be... 30. Uh, it's us, the path. Someone's getting on here, where's the thing? Over here, maybe. Oh, uh, yep. Oh, it's out of the future. 
I'm uh, reading your, um, your plant-based uh, hazelnut and nougat bars. Say hello to the future. Hey, future. Are you eating your plant-based protein hazelnut and nougat uh, bars? Bye, future. It's us in the past. What do you have to say in the future? That was weird, right? If I had to say anything about uh, in the future, I hope uh, global warming hasn't got us yet, and I hope that uh, Brazzers lowers their subscription uh, cost. Yeah, that one like, oh, the future, <laughs> it's just <laughs> the past. You still feel? That's pretty funny. Don't go I to keep over most of Tuesday, huh? By accident. Look at this. Brazzers lowers their subscription uh, cost. That's okay. <laughs> What you say? It's us, the past. Do you still feel? What's up in the Don't go to Tumblr, you hurt yourself by eating Panda Express. You can find the charger for your clippers. We're getting towards the end of the table, I gotta skip longer. Did you leave? Did Tumblr take over? Bye, future. Tumblr took over. on TV. Yeah, I kind of want to get off work on Sunday so I can um, go back to Philadelphia and go get Hot Pot. Hot Pot? If, uh, if I'm Caroline, maybe wants to go too. Speaking of gums hurting, my gums kind of hurt. Yeah, I wasn't going to leave you another message, but I guess I'm doing that. I don't really have the time, but yeah, my friend Daniel, we met in this weird Facebook community, and um, I had a weird, I was just like, my profile was completely stupid, it was just a fake name, like, oh, I'm, no, I'm not a guy, I'm a girl, so I was female, but I was just, I was just like, and this guy, what he did too, it was just like, stream of consciousness posting. Um, and I stopped eventually. Just posting anything and everything. But mine was less, um, I guess, personal. It was, uh, I was posting a lot of, like, media and stuff like that. And I was making little art things on, like, MS Paint or whatever it was. And, uh, we were talking for like a month or so. Somehow it didn't directly come up in conversation that, uh, like, that I was male, not female. <laughs> Somehow. And he drove from Georgia. Um, come meet me. And, uh, we couldn't stay friends after that for a little bit. <laughs> Once he sat down at a diner with me and realized that was male. Um, he needed some time. I remember he had a shirt on that said, I can get you a toe. It was pretty funny. Oh. And some big Lebowski, I guess. He was so frustrated, he went out in the parking lot, put a cigarette out on his tongue, drove away. And he died a couple years later. Overdose. And then my other friend died of millions of drugs, but in a kind of different way. But, uh... Anyway... Um... I have enough messages for today. Alright, bye. Well, there's only one more. More, uh, Mr. Gunsey messages, too. Well... We'll play a bit more of these. Shit, I forgot. Dang it, I wasn't supposed to call you back. I'm supposed to do more stuff for my mother. Because that's the way it is, and I should just get hot on it. Uh, so, sorry, I was going to say some other things here.
I gotta go. Oh, I feel it. Time's burning. Start to get over with those in a minute. I'll come back. Oh. Alright. Well, let's, let's call the bird. Let's see what he's doing. Maybe we made it back to the house. Oh. oh. Howdy. Hey, bird, it's Pokemon Montana. How are you? Hey. I love our third TV bird. You driving? Doing pretty, yeah, feeling pretty good. Having a, you know, you know, a few frustrations, but that's normal. Uh, in anybody's work day. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, mostly you know. So, but uh, yeah, now I'm on my way home, heading home. Oh yeah, you're back at the yeah. uh, house. No, I'm uh, I'm on Lily. I'm gonna turn left on Martin. But you're gonna go. You're going back to your house. Yeah, going back to the house. Were yeah. you invited? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're we're gonna try to get it back together. I, I'm I'm gonna be uh, teetotaling. No more uh, no more alcohol for the Robert. That's probably it's, good. Uh, yeah, it's good because you know I mean we we have our uh, our little disagreements and like shouting matches and. It's, uh, you know, and so it's like, you know, you just, it's, uh, easier to kind of recover from stuff if you, uh, if you, if you don't have alcohol in the, in the system and, uh, you know, it's, uh, honestly, I feel like so much better, um, you know, I just have more energy, like easier, you know, like. You know my body, like you know yeah. my. Uh, How much were you drinking, uh, Jesus? Yeah, you know, and you know, I, I was I was sort of telling myself, oh, I don't drink that much. You know, it's only like one or two. You know, every, you know, maybe a couple times a week. But it, you know, there were there were times where I definitely, um, you know, would uh, just get, you know, drink way too much, and then I would be hungover, and. I probably missed a couple of days, a few days of work because of it in like the last year. And, um, you know, and just, just that horrible feeling that lasts like, you know, 24, 36 hours. Yeah, you know, too late for like, that. Man, it's just nothing I can do. I just got to wait it out and get another night's sleep. And Good you know, water. So, yeah. And, and I've also been taking these, uh, Liquid IVs. Yeah, um, I don't think I'm those gonna, are. I don't think those are good. I gotta look up. I gotta look up the stock price on this stuff because it it really makes a huge difference in how I feel throughout the day. But it's not. And, it's like fake. The number, they just like, named the it medical stuff. I, what's that? It's just got a medical name. It's not medical. No, it's not medical. But what it does is it it helps your the cells in your body to hold enough water, you know? <laughs> That's just and, salt. And so it's like you can drink a lot of water, but you're, you're basically just still flushing it out of your system. It's not sticking in your cells where... where <laughs> you need That's what the liquid IV does, huh? That's, yeah, because it's got salt in it. That yeah, just, it, <laughs> you know. it's got salt. It's good, but I think it's yeah, potassium. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but... I, this stuff is like, I think it really, really helps. I mean, the, the number of times that I need to use the restroom throughout the day, like, I don't feel dehydrated. I can go longer in between when I need to use the Yeah, you told me about that, but I don't think that, that, that peeing infrequently is necessarily a good thing. It seems kind of weird. Well, it's, it's annoying when you have to pee every couple hours, I would say. It's nice if you can make it go three or four hours instead of two hours, you know? That way I'm not like... It's not, and may, maybe sometimes it was even less than two hours, you know? 
like if I had a cup of coffee with some water after it, then I might be like half an hour, you know, like mm. I, like tw twice in an hour, that kind of twice thing. Twice in an hour. And so yeah, so if I don't have to, you know, urinate like I think every hour. I think there should be somewhere in between twice an hour and once every like four or five hours. It should be about well, once once every two hours. I think it's healthy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think every two hours is considered normal, like, but you're supposed to be able to last two hours, like, you know, under most circumstances. Yeah? So. You want some numbers? But I, you know, but anyway, I mean, this stuff definitely, I just, you know, I feel like way more alert and like, you know, like sometimes I just like, I just, I'll crash after eating lunch or, you know, that kind of thing. But I feel like my energy levels are much more sustained. Thanks, Liquid IV. Yeah, it's called Liquid IV. Thanks, Liquid IV. You saved my life. You want some numbers? Um, yeah. Um, can you have the computer cues for me? Yeah, you mean just me? All right, let me... Give me, give me a four and a five and a seventeen and uh, thirty-six. All right. Here it goes. I'm gonna roll. Or I'm gonna pull the numbers now. What are you delivering? Um, I'm on my way. I, I had a uh, Safeway uh, trip, and it was like it was frustrating because. But like several of the items were n were not uh, there on the shelf, and uh, and then <clears throat> like one of them they were like listed in the wrong area, so like I had to like go around the store a couple different times, you know, and like just some bizarre items that they, you know that are like what is this, you know, kind of a like what was it almost like. Almost all like sugary snacks, you know, just like carb, carbs and sugar and, you know, it's like, my first one today was really good. It was like a normal, normal one. It, had, it was like bacon and eggs, cheese and vegetables, you know, and like, like, I was like, oh, that seems like a pretty healthy. Hey, know. that's a really good. You have a reasonable healthy diet. Yeah, and, yeah, it had some. Uh, chicken on it, and uh, I can't remember what else. Uh, uh, had a uh, slice of birthday, the colossal birthday cake that looks really yummy. I was like, ooh, mom, I could probably eat one of those right now. They had cake at Safeway? Uh, yeah, they have like slice, slices of cake for sale. I mean, they're like five bucks now. I mean, it, the prices are ridiculous, honestly. Don't get me started. I went to, I think I told you about the raspberries, uh, that they're selling raspberries for, I think, I think they're five, four ninety nine. And then I went to Fred Meyer and they were like two seventy nine, something like that. So it was like, you know, almost half the price, almost 50% of the price at Safeway. But, you know, every store has its like, you know, pop, you know, it's good. Prices and best prices on different items. So, like, if you really want to really kill it grocery shopping, you have to become an expert and know which place has the cheap prices on which items. Oh yeah, and you have to go, to like, go to like four different stores. Just go to like retail only. Stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I don't. Winco has bad prices on like dish soap. I found there's oh, yeah. certain things, and like yeah, like I went there for candles, and they, they the selection was terrible, and prices were not. Great. <laughs> yeah, we don't buy candles. Like, you buy food. We go for like, food. Right, but like yeah, but Winco, I, I mean Safeway is even like for candles. Like give me a break, yeah, you know like. Well, why are you I mean, buying candles more. at all? But. Oh, uh, you know, I like to have can I like candles for ambiance and also just for like, you know, if if it's stormy, it's nice to have candles in case the power goes out. You yeah, know, maybe maybe the power is going out, but not. It's like 
being in a dark house with no electricity with with a toddler. <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> No, thank you. Fire. If you're concerned about it, though, then maybe, uh, or like value so much, then well, you maybe shouldn't be buying candles. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I, yeah, I like the candles at Ikea. Yeah, I haven't used a candle in years. I don't think I've experienced yeah, a power outage in a long time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, what would you do if the power was Cry. Well, how much how much you uh depend on electricity for your daily routine and activity. One hundred percent. yeah, I mean everything from having a hot shower to My car is electric, my job is electric, the program's electric, everything's electric. And the the show's over that we made it. Charge the yeah, I could charge somewhere. The show's over, though. We made it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, have a warm two. Have a warm two. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. It. Oh, it's Wednesday. We're on TCTV channel 22, 11, 32 a.m. Watch your on YouTube. Check it out. Mr. Sarah, this is 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 Sarah, this Bye. Bye.